Hi mentors, I'm Alex from Boldly. So if you've watched our other mentor skills videos, then you'll know that this concept of effective disclosure runs throughout. Whether we're talking about effective communication, uh, trustworthiness or self-awareness, your ability to disclose effectively to your mentee is really key. So what do we mean here? Well, of course, we're lending from the legal and the financial world. We're not talking about full disclosure, but we're talking about selectively and honestly sharing information with your mentee so that they can make decisions and grow. It really comes down to disclosure about your personal background, as well as disclosure about business insights. So when we look at your personal disclosure, this might start with things like you sharing uh, your family makeup or where you've been on holiday. Sharing innocuous information like this just helps to build rapport, it lays the foundation for the relationship, and it means that you're role modeling how to share information and get to know another human. What you'll find is your mentee will reciprocate, and then of course that starts to you know, snowball as well. Over time, you'll then be able to move towards other personal disclosures. If you've had a performance review or a piece of feedback that you've received, you might share how you were able to manage that and think about it and what you learned from it. It starts to give them insights about your journey, things that might be relevant to them and allow them to see a pathway through their current situation. So in general rule of thumb, make sure that it's relevant to them, to their growth plan, uh, something that they're putting on the agenda to discuss. And of course, you need to define where your boundaries are and make sure that you know, you're disclosing within what you feel is effective for the business relationship. So moving on to business disclosure, this is typically going to be around decisions or information that's public within, at least internally within the business. If, for example, there's a strategy that has been uh, publicly circulated, it would be effective disclosure for you to be working through in your mentor discussions uh, the, what the strategy means, why it was made, how it was made. What we would say is that it becomes ineffective disclosure once you start talking about your opinion, your judgment, or perhaps talking about the people who've made that decision. Ineffective disclosure can really quickly sound like gossip, and it can be really confounding and very confusing for an early stage professional. So try to work through the machinations of business decision making and just reserve what you think about it, good, bad or not, to the side so that they can start to form their own opinions. So effective disclosure is going to be one of those really key things that you have to do on the fly. And that's why we encourage you to have a framework, know where your boundaries are, know what is important, relevant to the growth of that person in advance. You can typically ask yourself this mantra, what is my mentee going to do with this information when they have it? If the answer is nothing, then you've got your answer. So make sure that it's relevant to how they make decisions, how they grow and how they operate. Otherwise, keep it to yourself. Thank you so much again for the service that you have for the mentees and we're always here to help you. Thank you.